Shalom, beloved. A word. We will honor and glorify the Most High as we begin this Sabbath today. And I move to share a word with you. What touched me was Exodus chapter 23, beginning at the 20th verse. But I also want to give a praise unto the Most High. Yahoo of our ancestors, Yahoo of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We come to you as one body and one people, one spirit and one voice, honoring and glorifying you, Father. We are following you. And when we fall, lift us up. Encourage us as we encourage one another. Forgive us our sins, for they make us doubt. Cleanse us of that doubt. Remove that doubt, Father, and strengthen us. Move throughout the youth and wake them up to the truth of your word. And let the lies fall to the ground that these pagan nations have taught us. We are cast all over the world. And we have been enslaved for centuries. Be it through governments and laws or be it through actual enslavement. But now, Father, we have never stopped being your servant. From the time that you found us until this day that we speak, we have always loved you. We sinned in the past and we paid a mighty price. Forgive the sin of our ancestors, Father. We understand that you have punished us in order to lead us home. And we accept the punishment for it was deserved. How could we turn on you, Father? Majestic, glorious, powerful, mighty you. And turn towards these heathen nations to follow after their ways. Father, I ask that you wake up the renegades among us and bring them in. For those that refuse to follow you, cast them away. That, do, that they do not drag down your true beloved and trick them with lies. Let us not follow after the shiny objects of gold and silver, for there is no treasure on earth greater and more powerful and more glorious than you. It doesn't matter how many armies the world has or engines of war. You are the Lord of Saboeth, Father. According to your word in Exodus chapter 23, if we follow after you, you sent an angel of the Lord before us. You will be an enemy of our enemies and an adversary of our adversaries. Hear us, Father, as we turn to you with faith. We are not putting our trust in man. We are not trusting in fine words or intellect but in the truth of who you are. For thou art beyond our scope of understanding. Thy spirit comes in the room where we are and it is so powerful, Father. Let the world know thou art. And there is a Yahuwah, an Elohim, a true Adonai amongst Yasharel and all these nations that oppress us. Be an adversary to them. Let them become adversaries to one another. And as you did when we left the first Egypt, as they spiritually pursue us, as we cross this great sea to you, going towards Canaan, looking for our home, Father. For you have prepared a place for us. Let their will their inventions, their thoughts, and their intentions seep, sink into the miry clay. Let the waters of your truth drown them, that their lies wash away, sinking to rise no more, and expose you as the glorious, mighty Yahuwah that you are. We do not need weapons of carnal invention. For you inhabit our praise. You, Father, are our defender. As we follow you, help us, Father. Be merciful unto us. 
Send among us that angel of the Lord and let the armies of heaven gather around encamping against our enemies, casting them down. We see the signs, Father, and we thank you and glorify you. And we wait. Yes, we wait on the Lord. We are of good courage, renewing our strength in your word and your glory. For you are all we will ever need, Father. We praise you this day. Glory, hallelujah, hosanna, thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the mercy. Thank you, Father, that we woke up today and no horrendous evil overtook us. Thank you for being with us when we didn't even know you were there. Thank you for keeping us when we're asleep and defenseless. And you set an angel guard over us to protect us. Whether we are in or out, coming or going in the city or in the field, touch our children, wake them up to the truth, and let them not fall prey to the deceptions of this world, which is fading away. Glory in the highest, Father. Glory in the highest to you and your holy word and your holy Ruach. Thank you for the salvation of Yeshua. Thank you, Father. We know you, and we thank you for all you have and are doing for us. No matter what I say, it cannot give enough glory to you as you are deserving. But we fall prostrate in our spirit, praising and praying to you to come and save us from our enemies, as your word said. Thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.